are learning that on day one of the BJP brainstorming meet, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has asked the party leaders to focus on taking government programs and the schemes to the end users. He's also highlighted that the only caste in the country is to work for the poor, downtrodden, the youth, women and even farmers. Uh, the Prime Minister, remember, uh, joined the meet after a grand road show in New Delhi as well. And remember, the timing of this is also interesting because the two-day national executive meet is also endorsing an extension of tenure for party national president J.P. Nadda. For more details, let's quickly go across to Pyle Mehta, who's joining me on the phone line. Pyle, when the Prime Minister says that the only caste uh, for BJP workers should be to work for the poor, the downtrodden, the youth, women and farmers, this is, of course, a direct jibe at the Congress, which had thrust uh, itself on caste census and failed miserably uh, during the recent assembly election. All right, we will try and reconnect with Pyle. Pyle, did you hear my question? All right, we'll try and reconnect with Payal at the moment, but uh, the latest that we are learning is that Prime Minister Modi was very much present of this uh, part of this national executive meet, uh, one that will be taking place for two days. It's extremely significant because we also know that this national executive meet will be endorsing the extension of the tenure for BJP national president, um, Mr. J.P. Nadda, as we know that his tenure was coming to a close, but it's now expected that he will continue to be the party president till the 2024 Lok Sabha election. But the message by the Prime Minister is what is standing out. Payal is back with us. Payal, do break down the message of the Prime Minister and how this is a direct jibe at the Congress party. Well, the Prime Minister says that the job of the government of the day has been to work for every strata of society. They do not believe in dividing people on caste lines. And the biggest caste in this country is if you are a poor or if you have seen poverty. So that's been the instruction that the Prime Minister really has said that it is very important for the negative, uh, you know, focus of the opposition to be countered by the positive development work that has been done by the government. Uh, he has asked party leaders to take the data to people as to what kind of work has been done over the last 10 years. He's asked every individual to play their role and saying it's a very, very important election and each one of them was worked very, very hard to make sure that they are able to secure a win because remember, this is a very, very important election for the BJP. They're looking at securing the third term in power, probably creating a record of course and Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the track to become the Prime Minister for the third time. Pail, also take us through why this national executive meeting is so crucial for the BJP, <coughs> considering reports are indicating uh, that this is a meet which will also be endorsing an extension for Mr. J.P. Nadda. Oh, well, you know, we'll have to just wait and see because as of now, Akansha, there's been no confirmation on the terms of extension of the, of the national president's uh, tenure. His, his tenure is going to be uh, till next year is what we're given to mm. understand, at least in the next Lok Sabha. But you know, the national executive meeting is a, is a background meeting which takes place every three months or every three to six months. That's what the party assesses and reassesses itself. And this meeting holds very, very important, uh, uh, very, very important developments with the fact that the BJP has secured win in the three states in the Hindi heartland. So that's something also which the party will take a lot of pride in. Because everybody wrote them out, you know, in these elections, the party was able to secure a win. But of course, the big focus remains uh, the 2024 election because the Prime Minister spoke for over an hour and the BJP National President also addressed the gathering. Many thanks to you, Payal Mehta, for bringing in all those details.